Hello world! This weekend I'm in Munich, Germany. This time for work. As you can see, I'm with my YouTube tools here. I'll take the day today to show you a little bit more about what I actually do. So I'm here with Steve, who is our YouTube ambassador in Munich, but he's also working at the Bavaria Film Studios. Yeah. Is that what you call it? In yeah, Bav uh, Bavaria Film, yeah. Bavaria Film. I didn't know that this uh, part of Germany is so famous for making movies, but apparently it is. <laughs> and uh, even some American movies were shot here, top <laughs> secret. <laughs> Look at this matchy matchy guy. <laughs> I know, um, right? Yeah, That's good. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you made it. This is Daniel. Daniel's community manager for Germany That's and from YouTube and, and, and Switzerland and Austria. Austria. <laughs> Never forget Austria. Da. Da. Okay, da. let's go talk catering. The food is organized. It's time for me to pack up some swag. on our lunch break and he was showing me his channel which is Tempanot Time Lapses. This is all his work and it fascinated me how he did the banana and the yeah. flowers and everything and the banana took you what 10 days to film? Yeah, days. From like nice to super ripe and then what did you say took the longest? The longest one uh, was the video with the potatoes. Potatoes! Time lapse of the potato sprout. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. 11 months that camera was on. The reality of being in events is that sometimes you have to leave the beer party, which is happening right outside. Not that I'm really into beer. Um, and continue working on other events in other markets. So we're gonna continue this whole thing tomorrow. I've been told that it takes forever to find that drindel, the dress for Oktoberfest. Nicht drindel, diendel. Diendel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but challenge accepted. I'm gonna go into the store and within 30 minutes I'm gonna walk out with a dress and you gotta buy the shirt as well, right? Yes. I, yeah. I can tell you guys. 30 minutes. She 30 minutes. Never. 30 minutes. Because, no. You're dealing with a pro here. Maybe I don't say it. Maybe you don't say it. Maybe you just watch it. As you can see, I just woke up, went downstairs to grab breakfast, and my hotel actually has a shop with all of the Oktoberfest stuff. So I think it's going to take me even less than half an hour because I've already prepped um, two little, two little girls' dresses because they're cheaper, and hopefully they fit me. This is not bad, right? With Converse, little tie. I think we're ready. It might be a bit rainy today, but like that ever stopped me. By Russian store to get this. <laughs> this is typical Naila, not beer.
middle and it rained, it would totally ruin it. But that's why the laces are on the side. So take a look at these sexy babies. And then the socks match those weird looking things. Very odd creation. And then it's the main piece. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Excuse me. Oh, it is filled. It is filled, man. Ah! We ate, so the level of happiness went from here to like, whoa, over there. So we're gonna go on the last, um, what is it called? Ket Carousel. Ket Carousel. That's where we're going. After this, I gotta run to the subway and then run to the bus and then run to the check-in counter because I have check-in luggage and fly to London. But this is like the best day before the flight. Let's go. Just past security, now it's time to get changed, get comfortable, and get home. I'm just making it for the flight, so super happy. What an amazing trip. You know that moment you get out of the plane, and you're like, you know what, I'm one of the first people to go to passport control and get my luggage. I'm on it, wow, I'm so fast, I'm passing all these people, and you're almost at passport control, and you're like, something doesn't feel right. And then you realize you forgot your camera on board of the plane on your seat. And then you go back and now you're the last person from that plane to get out. When you don't have a pound for uh, the cart at the airport, you can just take the family friendly one for the kid to sit down and just put your stuff on there and off you go. You don't need a pound. 